WHN Live today on location at the Rocky Mountain Classic. Boy, it's uh, such a fun event at the Windsport Facility, Canada Olympic Park. This is the head office for Hockey Canada and uh, international. Uh, there are players, there are scouts. You see all kinds of people through here, including photographers, international photographers, one of the most well-known guys in Canada and U.S. and across the world. By the way, I'm Dave Dawson, and this <laughs> is Dan Hickling. He has clients with Elite Prospects. I don't, I'm going to let you describe yourself. <laughs> Appreciate your time. It's awfully hard to do. To yeah, do, you got a long list. I was reading on your Twitter it's, bio. It's, so a, it's, it's a, a rap deal. sheet is what it is. <laughs> but but uh, my, yeah. my wife Margaret and I, we uh, travel all over the U.S. and Canada, uh, and we have a select group of clients that we shoot for. Uh, elite prospects, of course, where they're photo administrators. Uh, Neutral Zone, which is another uh, very well-regarded uh, website, um, the scouting site. Uh, Upper Deck, we do uh, uh, hockey cards uh, for them, especially in Buffalo, where we shoot the NHL for them. We shoot, we, we uh, provide uh, photo support for uh, certain of the junior leagues as well, the USHL, the OHL, the Eastern Hockey League. Uh, we've done some of the BCHL as well. So um, we tend to uh, stick, when it comes to minor hockey, as, as we would call it, uh, we tend to stick to the 14 and 15 year olds because uh, those are their draft years. Uh, the WHL is 14s, which of course this great event is centered on. Um, and uh, in, the, uh, in the OHL, of course, the USHL, their draft year are 15s. And so, again, we spend a whole lot of time uh, getting to know and shooting the uh, 14 and 15 year olds. You did a much better job explaining and describing yourself than I would, well, which is <laughs> tremendous. But Well, I've had a little more experience with myself. So <laughs> That's true. We've know. been connected on Twitter. We've just met in person, yeah. which is tremendous. Dan, it's, you know, it's great to meet people like you because obviously the presidents of our company, Corey Bro and Calvin Bellows, for, uh, 14 and 15 year old age group is primarily a lot of the events that we do. So, so great to be united there. It's funny, you mentioned Upper Deck. Right away, I, you kind of get goosebumps because I'm going back to my childhood. Yeah. Thinking, going through the hockey cards, like, you probably shot that picture, you shot that picture, you shot yeah. that picture. <laughs> well, the, 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 you know, the problem these days, you know, we, we, we love the hockey cards, the hard copy, we love the e-cards, but the e-cards are kind of hard to put into your bicycle spokes. <laughs> so, so we just kind of stick to just doing the photography and letting everyone else kind of sort it out for themselves. Yeah. How did you get into photography and what is so special to you about it? Um, well, I could answer the second one first, I guess. What's sure. special is just capturing a moment that can never be duplicated ever again. Uh, you know, whether it's um, uh, a facial expression, uh, whether it's um, a, uh, a shoulder drop or a hip or a knee or you know some some twist or the the lighting coming into play all those sorts of things you have that one moment almost in eternity that uh, it just kind of presents itself and uh, I tell people that basically all I do is close my eyes and press a button <laughs> and hope for the best and let my wife Margaret she does all the all the uh, handles all the photos yeah. so uh, she does the rest she does she has the hard job so it's very special that we get to do that together um, but um, the the long and the short of it in get, getting into photography I was a newspaper reporter a sports writer uh, for a paper in New England and they fired all their photographers and handed me a camera and um, I got to liking it more than I liked writing. So when it came time to retire and shift gears, um, the camera just kind of came into my hand and wouldn't let me go. And, and uh, you know, again, Margaret's a huge part of that too, just uh, not only being supportive, but being involved right from the first in, the, in putting the legs underneath what we do. Um, but it's, again, capturing that moment and, and also being able to look back. We, you know, we've shot people like Connor Bedard and Connor McDavid when they, when they were, nobody ever heard of them, you know, <laughs> and we barely heard of them too, yeah. you know. And, and then to see them really progress in the game, but even more so, kids that nobody will ever hear of, but who are out there just, just uh, following their dream. And if we get to be just a little bit a part of encouraging them in that way, give them a little bit more of a, uh, 
an upper deck experience or an elite prospects experience, yeah. you know, make it kind of meaningful to them and special to them, then maybe that will be just enough, just the jam that they need to, uh, to, to dare to dream a little further. It's so funny because, and a lot of things you're saying, I'm picturing many conversations with Corey in the car. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like the same things. And well, I want to touch on something that you said that I thought is so special that, you know, your whole dream got started after something mm -hmm. was kind of crushed for mm -hmm. you. And then that's when everything changed. Mm -hmm. I love that because the names you're mentioning, Elite Prospects is literally Google mm -hmm. for hockey. Like it's, it's, you think of Google for Google, right. you're like, <laughs> hey, what's a tree? What is a tree? Google. Right. That is right. the site for hockey. Right. That is Elite Prospects. So, I mean, could you have imagined when you went through the difficult stuff that you did at a young age, when, not a young age, but when right. you, that went from that to where you are now with the partners you're working with? Um, I don't have that kind of imagination. <laughs> I'm, I'm too finite. I'm too, yeah. too mortal, too human. But uh, we're people of faith, and we have a, a sense that there is someone there who has given us a dream that we don't even know anything about. And that if we're just kind of faithful to the step that we're able to take today, tomorrow is going to show up, and then we'll take that step, and then the next step, you know. So uh, the idea is just to enjoy the journey. And we try to tell this to the kids that we encounter just on the bench getting ready to shoot warm up. You know, just tell them, hey, enjoy the journey. You don't know where it's going to take you. You may have hopes that it'll take you in a specific direction, and it might do that, or it might even be better. But just if you take that next step, you're going to get there quicker than you would if you didn't. A couple more questions here for you. I really appreciate uh, your time, Dan. Um, you know, how in your mind has digital media? You know, photography, videography, all of that changed sport. Because you're working with some pretty big mm -hmm. partners out there. You get a lot of tremendous feedback. How has it changed the way people engage with it and consume it? Um, well, the consuming part is just it's it's all instant. I mean, it used to be you you'd kind of kind of wait for the baseball season to come around and hope you know those first set of cards would come out and um, and then the next you know. The, months later the, the the updated set and so on everything is so immediate now um, that uh, to even try to keep up with it and of course there are more opportunities to do that I can't tell you just our own schedule shooting schedule um, we, we were back home in Buffalo last weekend doing a, 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 an event week before that we were in outside London Ontario doing a, an Alliance 15U thing uh, before that, we were in uh, uh, Abbotsford and Chilliwack doing a BCHL. In other words, there was so much yeah, and so many so things to do on. that uh, you really have to narrow in, you know, zero in, as Margaret says, skate our lanes, you know, and uh, there's so much lane to skate just doing that. Uh, but again, it's the immediacy that uh, people can basically get what they want when they want it. And it's all, you know, so, so tough to kind of keep up with that. Is there a signature shot or something in your career that you and Margaret have kind of built off of or some moments that you almost kind of go to and go, wow, I can't believe I got that shot? Um, you know, people ask that type of thing and... and and I'll tell them, well, I haven't shot it yet. Um, <laughs> it's still out there. It's still we're still pursuing it. There, there are some shots that, that certainly are more striking than others. One of them that comes to mind was at the NHL draft in 2016 in uh, Buffalo, actually, as it was. And I was, um, it's always kind of fascinating when you're at the draft and you see all these these hopefuls and their families and. Then by the time you get to round seven, you see uh, a lot of uh, very nervous young players and, and their families. And um, there was a player, uh, the, the, the last pick of the, very, of the draft, the very last pick was made. And that player was not called. And I happened to see his mother and father uh, just wrapping their arms around him and consoling him. He, he was flushed. And, and, and obviously feeling some pain right there. And I happened to get that shot and um, we've never shared it and I'm not sure that we will share it. 
but I share that with you now, yeah. um, wow. just to say that there is that moment. That again, the, the the powerful moments that can never be recreated. That's why we do what we do, and that's why we're glad that uh, we can connect with guys like you, share the love for it. Dan Hickling, um, such a just a pleasure to be able to catch up with you and chat with the, you. Thanks the, so much for the, taking the time. Pleasure is mine, and thanks so much for having me, Dave.